Sam Wilson here. Welcome to the Resto Rat Lessons Learned, segment one. Uh, today I'm uh, uh, following through on an adage that I've always told my wife, never knit in the morning what you can't unknit in the afternoon. So I was within about 20 bolts of having this entire truck put back together. And before I put the final fenders, front fenders back on, trying to make sure the engine ran right, <clears throat> and we primed up the engine, had oil pressure, but could not get the back two lifters on the passenger bank to pump up. And uh, went through a lot of different diagnostics, trying to figure out why those weren't, thought it might be a bad lifter, thought it could have been blockage in the oil galley. At the end of the day, on these Pontiac motors, the oil comes out of the oil pump, goes up through the filter on the passenger side, crosses over the oil galleys to the driver's side rear. It comes from the rear of the motor up through the lifter galleys to the front of the motor, crosses over the front of the motor to the passenger side, and then comes back down the passenger side, 2468. What I didn't know is at the end of that oil galley, there's a threaded in pipe fitting that, that stops, blocks and stops that passenger side oil galley on this 316 motor. It's in, the distributor housing comes down, there's a wall here, the oil galley comes down, there's a plug there, that's a screw in plug. Then there's a press in plug back on the flywheel, back of the engine where the flywheel mounts up. So when I got the motor back from the engine builder, there was a screw in plug on the left and a press in plug on the right. All brand new, all look good. So we put the motor uh, in the truck and ready to go. What I didn't realize is behind that press in plug is this screw in plug. So what's happening is the oil is pressuring up fine, but it's pushing it all the way through the motor and back down the other side and then just gushing it out back into the oil cavity. So there's nothing to stop the oil galley to give it pressure to build up those last hydraulic lifters. Um, only way I found that out is I talked to a really nice guy, Rocky Rotella, kind of a Pontiac expert it looks like. And he's the one who suggested that that's probably the, was the issue. So I put a little fiber optic camera down in the distributor hole and sure enough, that plug is missing. Unfortunately, the only way to get to that plug is pull the engine. So I've now done all the prep work to get this motor, took all the radiator core support, all the bumpers, all the stuff off. Now I'm gonna pull this motor, get that plug in there and then put it back in. So hopefully we'll get it back uh, running uh, this afternoon. Stay tuned. All right, just for clarity, got this motor out. You can see the camshafts right there. So this is the driver's side uh, lifter galley, and this is the passenger side lifter galley, and this is the camshaft. So if you get this motor back from a motor builder and it's got these two plugs in there, you have no way of knowing that the little plug that is down inside there you can feel it with your finger just way back up in there, but there's no way to see that. So I would say, you know, lesson learned on these Pontiac motors is you need to be in close communication with this engine builder and make sure he knows to put that plug back in that hole. So I'm gonna remove this plug, go source another one of these plugs, put that one in there and then put in a new uh, expansion plug here and we should be good to go. And if you find you're in this self in this situation, what I did is I took this punch and I drove it right in the side of this deal to just push in one side of this plug that rotates the, the plug so I can pull it back out. Because otherwise it's gonna go all the way through and drop to the oil pan. So I got that freeze plug out. You can see that little threaded hole in there. And you can see all the way down that wall galley, all past all the lifters and the shiny part way down at the other end, you just barely see past the flashlight is the expansion plug in on the other end, uh, up on the front of the block. So that little screw in plug, very important, very important. So now we've got the plug in there 
and you can see the oil is squirting out through the lifters in all of these cases. So we're good to go. Okay, we got the engine back in, got it all tuned up, adjusted the idle uh, mixture screws right down here to get them balanced, and now uh, it's running like a top. All good. Well, we're all wrapped up on this segment, and uh, this is just a big lesson learned that I'm not really sure how you avoid because you can't see that plug, but if you've got one of these Pontiac motors, you need to make sure when if you take this to a motor builder that that plug's in there. Um, even if you have to go buy a little fiber optic camera to get up in there and see it. Or knock the plug out and make sure it's in there and put the plug back in. It's a 15 16 plug. Um, in the end, I don't think we did any damage to the engine because the crank is getting oil and the camshaft's getting oil off the splash. And it was pushing some oil down through the chambers, but uh, you know, th this could be catastrophic. So. Just a uh, lesson learned. I hope this helps somebody. And uh, thanks to, by the way, to Rocky Rotella. Um, he's the one who uh, I reached out to on the internet. And Rocky, uh, highly knowledgeable, super nice guy, took the time to call me back and talk me through it. And he's the one that uh, diagnosed the problem. So thanks, Rocky. Well, I hope you learned something today. Um, if you did, Consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell so you get notification of future videos that will be equally as exciting as the one you just watched. Now before you go, give me a thumbs up on the video and drop a comment in the comment box if you got any kinds of questions or just think you got to sound off on something. If you have something specific you want to know how to do, well leave me a comment and I'll see if I can't capture some content for a future video. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you back here for another Resto Rat episode real soon. Download the Resto Rat app today to begin managing, tracking, and documenting your restoration project.